We are going to go over knockdown stitches today. There's a couple, or actually a few different techniques I want to share with you with creating a knockdown stitch. And you would use a knockdown stitch for things like fluffy towels or blankets or throws. Uh, material that has some ply on it, it's fluffy. And the purpose of it is to hold some of that fluff down um, inconspicuously so the name will pop better or the design will pop better and because I don't want that background to really show if I'm using a white towel I'm gonna use white thread for the knockdown or beige if I'm using a beige towel or throw because I don't really want the knockdown to pop I want the name or the design to pop so we're gonna go over a few different ways and let's start with this one if you have um, enthusiast if you have enthusiast, here's a really simple way to do it. I am going to hit Command A, and that's going to select everything on my screen. And then I'm going to go up into the utility, and in the utility, about halfway down, it says Add Knockdown Stitching. So boom, just like that. It adds it to the background and everything, so there's no... Um, extra steps of having to move it upward. Now what I do like to do here is remove some of these extra stitches. Um, like in here, I don't need that to go around this area and miss this. I want it to get that whole area knocked down because I don't want a little bit of fluff to sit, pop through the name in that area. So. I'm just going to get rid of some of those stitches. Now I could go into the enthusiast feature here and then select a grouping and then get rid of them that way. And I do that a lot of times, but I do find it pretty easy just to get rid of them here. There's just a few of them and so it's pretty simple. Go over and check here. Here's another spot. I want to get rid of all these because I don't want a little bit of fluff to pop through there and show through. Okay, and look at, we have a density of 12. And if you look real close, you can see it's not super dense. If you go here, there's no underlay under that because although it's a fill kind of stitch, we just don't need it to be super thick or covering every single thing. It's just to hold down some of that fluff. Okay, so here we have one very easy way to do the knockdown and this is with the enthusiast feature. Let's check out another way. Alright, so here I have my name. This is just in a little fill stitch I did. So you can see that it's not um, satin, it's just a little fill stitch. And I would want to get particular with this name and I would end it here and I would start it there, you know, and change the start stop so it's flowing more smoothly. But anyhow, for the example's sake, let's do this. Let's say you don't have enthusiast, but you do want to use the knockdown feature. Well, you can create your own knockdown, um, so to speak. So let's do this. Let's command A again and let's Command C, Command V, and make an exact copy of that. And let's use the first one. And we're going to go to Inflate Objects. Now, I believe this is a um, Stitch Artist 3 feature. So let's inflate it, remove the little holes if they have any holes, and oh, let's give it, let's give it a five. Let's make it so we got some good density or some good area behind there. Okay. So there we have kind of a mess because you can see these are overlapping. And so let's do this. Let's click every single one of those first ones. Let's not do the second name, just the first. And let's do a union. And that's going to give us a line around the whole thing. So now let's get rid of that and keep the union. Here's our union. It looks pretty good. We didn't get any extra areas that we need to erase. Let's give that a fill ourselves. We'll make it a 12, just like the knockdown was on um, the enthusiast. We don't even need a travel edge. We want to make sure these are gone. 
Okay, now this is going to look pretty much similar to that. We're going to go ahead and make this um, a white as well so it's more easy to see our name. And there we have it. It looks pretty much the same as that because it, it basically is the same thing. Okay. Well, now let's suppose you're new to Stitch Artist and you don't have that feature, which I believe again is in Stitch Artist 3, but you still want to create some sort of a knockdown. Let's try one other technique. Let's go to draw, draw the dots of points. Um, and let's just go around our name like this. Now I'm not doing perfectly around this name, but each of these can be adjusted as well. So just because we're starting here, we don't have to end here. Now let's get on here. We're going to make this one a cusp because I don't want this marker to move. I just want this side to move. And if we don't do cusp, you can see over here, that then both edges move when one edge it kind of allows the other to move as well so here let me show you this way there we go a little better like this and let's just make a few little adjustments now if I was using this I would take a little more time and um, refine this a little more but for the sake of being somewhat speedy for y'all there we have this so let's take this and let's move it first so it's going to be behind the Kimberly and let's give it a fill stitch all right let's make it a 12 again and let's make sure there's no underlay great so now here you have once again created your knockdown um, with just your Stitch Artist 1. So there are a few different ways to create this and with the enthusiast man that's just the easiest, easy peasy. But you can do this other ways as well so don't feel like you can just because you do not have enthusiasts yet or just because you don't have Stitch Artist 3 yet. I have even gone and done the um, freestanding lace behind things as well. I like the way it holds too. It's not quite as thick, um, but it holds well. But go ahead and explore those different ways to create a knockdown. If you have enthusiasts, oh my goodness, easy peasy, just boom, and it's done. But don't be afraid to try the other ways as well. And I hope this has um, answered some questions for y'all. If you have any more questions on the knockdown stitch, please comment. Or if you have a, some questions about some other technique in Stitch Artist or Enthusiast or Essentials, Alpha Tricks, please go ahead and make a post. Ask me. Um, I will see if I can make a quick little video or at least explain what um, you can do and whatever, whatever, what other questions you have. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped.